Welcome back to Larry Williams' YouTube channel. And if you don't see it here, you'll find out all about it at our website, IReallyTrade.com, which is really about teaching you to become a better trader. Today, I want to talk about the four important dominant powers in the marketplace. We're going to have four series here to teach you uh, those groups, who they are, and how we can use them to become better traders. In just a moment, I'll teach you about the first one, the commercials. Isn't it wonderful? There are four groups whose actual buying and selling record we can follow and use that information to tell us when we should be long or short in the marketplace. The commercials are the most dominant. What do I mean by the commercials? Those are the people that commercially use or produce a commodity. That would be somebody that mines gold, somebody takes gold and refines it into uh, jewelry, uh, computer chips. That would be someone that uh, uh, grows wheat or, or someone on the other side who takes the wheat and makes flour out of it or bread or crackers and chips, whatever. So those are the commercials in the marketplace. They're the largest player in the marketplace most all of the time. And they're not like you and I. They're not speculators. They're not trying to buy low and sell high. They're hedging their position in the marketplace. A farmer may have seen that the wheat is at $4 a bushel. His cost is $2 a bushel. He'll sell a lot of wheat because he's making money. He doesn't really care if prices go higher or lower because he is a hedger. So that's the commercials and their record, which I've studied since 1973. The first person to write about these guys, I think I have more history with them than anyone. Their, their record is clearly, when they're substantially long, these markets rally. Substantially short, these markets decline. It's a great indicator for you to understand the markets. Now, the second group of players in the marketplace that I pay a lot of attention to are the large traders. It used to be large traders were people like myself that traded in large contracts, large positions. But that's all changed. A lot of things change in the marketplace. That's why you have to keep on your toes. The change is this. These large traders are now funds. The funds have the large dominant speculative position in the marketplace. And they all tend to buy about the same way. They like to buy strength and buy on the way up. Which means as the market tops, they'll have on a huge position. And when it starts to bottom and go up, they've been substantially short. So we can use them as well. They're kind of an opposite indicator of the commercials, but another really good indicator. We know every week from the Commitment to Trader Report how many contracts are long, how many contracts are short. It's a marvelous tool. The third tool I look at from the Commitment to Trader Report is the small speculators. That's people like you. And unfortunately, if they're not educated, they don't understand how to trade the markets, the small speculators are almost always on the wrong side of the market. With some exceptions, of course, that I teach in my classes, there's some markets where the small speculators are actually quite good. But by and large, the small speculators are very emotional, and they're heavily long at market tops and heavily short at market bottoms. So we can just do the opposite of those guys. That's the, the third group that we follow in the marketplace. There's one more. Let me tell you about it next. The fourth and last group in the marketplace that I follow are the advisors. The guys that write newsletters, well, blogs, uh, advisory reports for brokers, for as well, they don't tend to really do a very good job. If you look at their record over a long, long time period, they tend to be very bullish as markets get close to high, very bearish as markets get close to low. The first lesson I ever really got about stock trading and commodities came from my father, actually, who uh, had worked in a refinery, didn't have very much money. Uh, but one thing he told me, he said, you know, my broker is always wrong. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. I thought brokers would know everything. But Dad's comment, really, I took to heart and worked, have worked with for so many years, is that the, the brokerage firm community and the advisory uh, community really tend to just follow the trend. So they get really bullish late in the trend and very bearish late in a downtrend. So that's our fourth tool we can use in the marketplace to help us identify what side of the market we should be on.